Autumn in New York is visually an absolutely stunning film. And it's one that I really thoroughly enjoyed watching. But the narrative, while I like it, there's something very uncomfortable about it. And I think it's because we're watching a relationship that is not traditional unfold. It's a little bit peculiar to watch, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It was released in 2000, directed by Joan Chen, written by Alison Burnett, and stars Richard Gere and Winona Ryder. And Winona Ryder is the reason that I watched this. Will I watch it again? I, I, I don't think I ever will, but I enjoyed the time spent watching it because it was certainly an interesting journey, if not what I'd expected. So the description from IMDb is as follows. Romantic drama about an ageing playboy who falls for a sweet but terminally ill young woman. So having somebody fall in love with somebody who's terminally terminally ill is not that uncommon. Quite a frequent, not overly frequent, but something we see now and then in rom-coms where one of the characters is facing either a severe illness or even death and obviously there's a heartbreak there. But I think the age gap makes it very odd. Not because there's anything wrong with there being a big age gap, but the fact that she's ill and sickly makes her very vulnerable and not childlike as such, but certainly younger than she actually is. It makes her feel vulnerable with the vulnerability of a child and she needs to be obviously protected and looked after. And because this quote unquote aging playboy is quite a bit older, I just, there was something about it that I just thought was quite uncomfortable to watch. That being said, the performances were really good. Richard Gere plays Will Will Keane and Winona Ryder is Charlotte Fielding. I didn't think either of the characters were that interesting. I didn't really like them or dislike them. I was pretty indifferent. I wasn't that bothered about their journey. Yes, you do feel a bit of emotion towards Charlotte and her her um, her illness. You obviously want the best for her. But it wasn't like I was sitting on the edge of my seat praying that she survived the end of the film or that she suddenly got miraculously better. I was just a bit indifferent towards her. But it is well acted. We have you know, a, a whole cast of other great people in this. J.K. Simmons, Vera Farmiga. It's well acted. It's The pacing's fine. The pacing's quite good. I think what I liked about it most, if I had to pinpoint something, is the visual quality. Autumn in New York, straight away, you know you're going to get some beautiful scenery. And this film delivers. It absolutely does. So, for me, I prefer a great narrative to a visual delight. But with this one, I got kind of a mediocre, not very interesting, slightly awkward narrative. But an absolute visual treasure. So I didn't like it as much as I could have done. But certainly... You know, seeing Central Park all autumnal, just so stunning. Really beautiful. So there were aspects about it that I liked. The budget was $65 million, according to IMDb. It does not feel like a $65 million film, especially for 2000. But it's not bad. Would I recommend it? If you're into this kind of film, kind of soppy, romance, expect some tears, you might like it. But it's not a film that I would say you should put to the top of your watch list. It's alright. It has its moments. There are areas for improvement. But by no means is it a bad film.